In last video, we made the tree model in Blender and import it into Unity. Then we read the leaf shader. In this video, I will show you how to make the leaf animation in Wind by using shader graph in Unity URP. First, we need to install URP package, click Window, Package Manager, input Universal in search field, then we get Universal RP. Click the Install button at right down corner. After install finish, we need to create a pipeline asset. In project window, under asset folder, choose create rendering universal render pipeline, pipeline asset. Then click the pipeline asset, modify the pipeline settings in inspector window. Check HDR under quality settings, choose full time anti-aliasing. Under shadow settings, check soft shadows. Under post processing settings, set grading mode to high dynamic range. Then click edit, project settings, select graphics on the left tab. In scriptable render pipeline settings, choose the pipeline asset we just created. Back to the scene, we can see the materials become rose red. We need to upgrade them to URP materials. Click Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials. In the pop-up window, click Proceed. Now the ground and the tree trunk have right materials. We still need to remake the leaf shader in URP. Before that, set up the post-processing effects. In Hierarchy window, right-click, choose Volume, Global Volume. In its Inspector window, Click New button to create a new volume profile. Then let's add Bloom effect and modify its properties. Add Tone Mapping effect, select Easy Yes mode. Add color adjustments, then modify its properties. The last one is white balance effect. Let's modify the camera properties, check post processing here. To make sure post-processing work on the game camera, choose SMAA for anti-aliasing. Then we make the leaf shader. Under SS Materials, right-click, choose Create Shader PBR Graph. Name it to Leaf URP. Double-click it to enter Shader Graph Editor. Let's add texture and color for the leaf. Click plus here, create a texture 2D property, name it to main text, set its default texture to leaf. Then add a color property, select a color for leaf. Click the settings button on the PBR master node. Check two-sided for both rendering front and back faces. Then press space to create a new node, input texture, choose sample texture 2D. Connect the alpha output to PBR master's alpha input. Here we use texture color to multiply color property, connect the result to air battle, you can just use color or textures color as the air battle. Set the smoothness to 0, occlusion to 1.5. The alpha clip threshold is 0, we need to set it to 0 0.5. Create a vector 1 property. 
name it to alpha cutoff, set its default value to 0.5, change mode to slider, then connect it to alpha clip threshold. Now we can see the leaf's shape. Click Save Asset back to the scene, check the result. Here, don't forget, drag the shader we just created onto the leaf material. OK, now we have already achieved the same result with what we did in last video. Back to shader graph, let's make the leaf animation. It includes vertex animation for leaf's movement and a UV animation for leaf wiggle. For vertex animation, we will use vertex word position XZ components as UV to add an offset, which changes over time. Then use the UV offset, sample our noise texture to get the vertex word offset. Press space to create a position node, choose space to word. Then use a split node and a vector2 node to get its XZ components. Then connect XZ to a simple noise node UV input. Set its scale to 2. Now we can see the noise will not change over time. We need to give the UV an offset. Let the UV add an offset, then give the result to noise UV. Add a vector2 property, name it to wind direction, set its default value to 1, 0. Add a vector1 property, name it to wind speed, then add one more vector1 property, name it to wind strength. Set wind speed default value to 1.2, set its mode to slider, mean value is 0, max value is 2. Set window strength default value to 0.2, set its mode to slider, mean value is 0, max value is 1. Drag wind direction down, normalize it. Multiply with wind speed and time. Let it change over time. Add this offset with UV above, now the noise changes over time. Let's check this again. Here we take XZ components of vertex word position as UV, wind direction multiply wind speed, multiply time as offset. Add UV and offset. Add vertex word position and vertex word offset to get vertex word position after offset. Here we can see the master's vertex position input is object space, so we need to transform the position from word space to object space. Create a transform node, select word to object, then connect it to master's vertex position input. Now the vertex offset is too large. We will use wind stress to control the vertex offset. Let the noise output multiply wind stress then add with vertex position. The vertex offset looks normal now. Let's arrange these nodes. Click Save Asset back to the scene. We can see the leaf's movement, change the material properties to check the result.
Vertex offset too large when wind strength is 1. Back to shader graph, change the wind strength max value to 0 0.5. Next, we will give the leaf texture a wiggle animation. Let the leaf texture rotate around the center to achieve the effect. Here, we use the UV offset we just made. Connect it to a simple noise node, change its skill to 8. Different with vertex animation, here we use wind speed to control the wiggle. Let the noise output multiply wind speed. Give the output to a rotate nose rotation input. Let UV rotate around the center point. Then connect UV to main texture's UV input, we can see the leaf texture wiggling. At last, let's group these nodes. Click Save Asset, check the result. Okay, that's all in this video. Hope it could help you. Thanks for watching.